What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so this is vlog series number three. Alright. Alright, so this is where we're at right now guys. Check it out. Let me show y'all real fast. I went ahead and added some tubes to hide the cables. I finally got the CDI mounted. Front tire is now mounted. Front brakes are on. And then I got the kill switch wired up. And then on top of that, I went to put the clutch, the, the kit, right? Like the kit comes with uh, like a clutch lever built into it. So this is it. See, it's broke. It doesn't fit my handlebars. My handlebars are too big. Alright, so the other day I decided to get on Amazon because I needed a couple of things. For one, I needed a chain breaker for the bicycle chain, and then I needed a chain breaker for the uh, for the motor. You know, I needed a, a bigger, it wouldn't fit. So, Amazon came through for me, which I did it, uh, an unboxing in my car, so hopefully I can get that video edited and uploaded so y'all know what I'm talking about. But I got this in the mail, alright, check it. It's a chain opener for that one, which... As you can see, I've already popped the chain off and stuff, and it came with this little nifty tool that holds the chain in place for me, but I gotta do it to the other side. But my biggest problem is, hang on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, where's the other one at? Look, this is the heavy duty one that it came, came, the chain breaker, look, check it out. Shit, look, see that thing? Son, this thing is serious, you could put this in a sock and whack somebody with it and it would hurt. I mean, listen to it. Like, it, it's pretty serious. That's for the other chain. But listen, check this out, right? So, I went to put the exhaust on the bike, you know? So, the exhaust kind of just, it fits up into there, and then it runs down like that, right? Can y'all see that, how the motor is and how the exhaust is? Well, the problem was, is the damn pedal was hitting the exhaust. Look, where is it at? Right there. You see those marks? That's from the pedal hitting the exhaust. So you couldn't pedal the bike without hitting the exhaust. So what I did is I took the exhaust outside and put it in a vise and bent it. And when I did that, look, all the bafflers in the exhaust came out. So that gave me an idea of how I think I'm going to make my home, my own homemade, um, you know, reser reservoir or uh, res reserv revive baffle I don't know I'm gonna make a two-stroke exhaust one that resonates that's what I'm looking for so I got the end of it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my grinder and I'm gonna cut that off and then I'm gonna JB weld and I'm gonna run a maybe a self-tapping screw or something through it but I would like to keep the clean look is why I'm gonna go with the JB weld but I'm gonna have an exhaust with no baffles in it so it's gonna be louder and it's gonna be better performing uh, what else did I get? Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I had to buy another chain for this bike so I can play with the Master Link and have extra chains to play with it. But it was it was more than enough chains, so I I didn't need it. Uh, and what else we got going on? So let's see here. I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna finish up the chain on the back, shorten that up. Once I do that, I can line the rear gear with the sprock, or with the the driver gear on the motor, and then I can get the the drive the motor lined up, and then get the exhaust put back together, and all that kind of stuff. But it's coming along, and look, check this out. Look what I got. I got a cup holder installed. Oh yeah, you know it. I went I went with the gold. Got the tank. Um, I went ahead and got a hold of the people that sold me the kit and told them, you know, there's rust in the tank. You know what I mean? And, and half of the parts don't even fit the bike, or they're broke. Or actually, I'm asking, I'm actually missing a few pieces. So I'm a little disappointed in the quality of the kit. But what do you expect for $110? Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go out in the garage, and I got to look at the exhaust. Uh, I got to finish playing with the exhaust, so let me grab the exhaust and the cap, because we got to go get the grinder. Uh, so the next, I'm just going to pause the video, and I'll take it up on that, or should I just do like a walkthrough kind of deal? I guess I'll just do a walkthrough. I got my keys, yeah, I got my keys. Hi, little girl. Hi, little Sadie. 
go outside? Okay. Yo, it's cold as shit out here, y'all. Let me tell you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Walk down here. Come through this. Spotlight came on. Alright, so this is my little closet over here. This is uh, where I keep a lot of my inventory and things that I got for sale and all that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, here, there's my photo box that I made and then some of my wood and those are all of my cases and computer junk. Alright, uh, what did I come in here for? Oh yeah, the grinder. It is right here. Grinder. Gotcha. Okay, so I need the grinder. Let's turn uh, this off. Oh, I got a welder's helmet for sale. It's brand new. If anybody wants it, let me know. It's uh, 45 bucks for it. So, we're going to go this way. I'm going to leave the keys in the door so that way I know where they are. Go out to the garage. Man, I appreciate you guys watching my videos, man. Thank you so much. And, you know, a lot of support works good. This is my garage. This is the wood that I built. Didn't I do a good job? Anyway, I'm selling it like that. There's my work, uh, a bench that we got. We need to sell that too. Um, this is my outdoor workbench. There's my other vehicle sitting in the garage while my work truck sits out there. There's my dog. All right, so what I want to do is set this up. Oh, look, this is the baffle that came out of the exhaust. So it put the exhaust there. So what it does is it just kind of feeds into the to the exhaust like that and then where the cap go what I do with the cap oh it's in my pocket so you take that and it fits on there and then it bolts through like so but we don't need that no more but what we do need is this so give me one second guys let me pause this uh, alright guys got my safety glasses on and I got the grinder I got this wrapped up now I'm gonna cut it off Everything that 
everything I gotta do with this bike, I keep having to do, uh, you know, modifications, parts, just whatever I need, something. It's always something that I need to work on, because nothing, nothing has gone on easily except for the damn front tire. That was the easiest thing to put on, was the front tire. No trouble with that. Everything else, yeah, a little trouble with it. Or I gotta completely remake it, or modify it, or fabricate it myself. So there you have it. We're gonna pick this up back in the room, y'all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take JB Weld Epoxy. We're going to JB Weld to the end of the exhaust on. So let's just start with that. Oh, go from there. Oh. Okay. A little bit of oil. everything with 
and we'll just set that on there. If you guys are wondering what kind of mat that I got here, this mat is awesome. I actually did a video on this mod mat. You guys ought to look it up and uh, check it out. Um, but this is a great mat. I mean, it, it does everything I need for it. Oh, I don't want to move that. I kind of want that just to sit there and dry. Uh, I still got to put the clutch on. I got to fix the chain. Uh, I got to put the gaskets back on. Uh, I got the JB well done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to figure this chain out. Get the chain mounted, put it on get the motor lined up, all that good stuff, and go from there. So, yeah. But that will probably be in vlog series number four or five. So, that's where we're at right now. We we finally got the parts that we were waiting on, so we can get the chain, the chain both chains, shortened. That way we can get everything lined up properly, get the motor secure, get the tank secure, and start working out some of these kinks because once I get it fully mechanically running and I'm ready to put it on the road there's still going to be kinks and little things that I'm going to have to work out before I can get it to run in optimal shape but yeah so make sure you guys give me a like for doing this man I appreciate y'all and check out some of my other videos I'll have them linked bam 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 and I appreciate y'all and as always y'all be cool peace